Welcome back. We're going to start building our client portal for the first time today in Softer. Let's get to it. So here we are in the dashboard for Softer. And right away, you can see that we have some navigation on the left-hand side here. We can switch between pages, theme, users, settings. In the middle are the blocks that we have. Now, Softer, we use building blocks that allow you to drag and drop these blocks that are pre-made to make it really easy for you. And if I click on a block, I could see that I have access to change all the settings of that block on the right-hand side. So I could change the features, the styling, which are like the colors or appearance, and also the visibility. I could choose which user role, user group, this block is visible to, the client or the admin. So we have this basic configuration where we already have our app pre-built with common components and we can change anything. But before we get there, let's click on the user tab and sync this application to our data source, that database that we were working on. So sync with data source, and I'm going to search for the table that we were building. In this case, it's client portal video build right there. So I have connected to the table and now it's asking me, which table do I wanna use for my users, all right? And it's gonna be the user table. And now I just need to map these fields. It's asking me to pull in the email field and connect it with the email field in our database, which is email the name with the name. Avatar is gonna be our headshot or photo. Magic link is a authentication link that a user can click and automatically be logged into their account. We don't have one right now, but we'll click here. So software automatically generates one on our behalf. Otherwise we are good to go. I'm gonna hit save and sync. Our database and our software app are gonna be connected for the first time. And it's gonna start pulling in all of the data that we have in our Airtable, which is our first user, which is Leia, all right? So we have our first user up and running. Now, while we're here, let's set up our user groups. So right away, we click on user groups and we see that we have two defaults, a logged in and a non-logged in, right? And that's exactly what it is. A logged in user is someone that has entered their email and the password and has authenticated as a user of your application and they are now logged in. And then the non-logged in user is a person that is just randomly viewing your application on the web for the first time. They have not created an account. They don't have anything like that. Now, usually the logged in versus non-logged in is a basic gateway, a barrier for your application saying only users that are logged in can access these pages. Whereas non-logged in users can only access maybe the homepage or something like that. So it's a good differentiation between the two. Well, we want to create two new user groups here. And what are they? The clients and the admin. So to create our first user group, I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to call it the client user group. Now we can do this manually or condition based. And everything we do here, we like to have it done automatically for us because less work, the better. So we're going to say condition based. And we're going to say that when the user's user role is clients, then they are clients. So let's take that again. When I click here, I'm accessing all of the fields on the user table, okay? If I go over here, I can see on the user table, all the fields, the name, the photo. And right here, this is the most important field, the user role. And so I wanna click on the user role and I'm gonna say is, not is not or anything like that. I wanna say when the user role is client, that means that they are a client and we're gonna assign them to that group automatically. I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna add another custom group and this is gonna be our admin. And this is gonna be condition based again and it's gonna be user role one more time. User role is admin. So now we have two user groups, our client user group and our admin user group. And we can then go back to our pages here in our home page, just to show you an example. And this is arbitrary, but I wanna show you that when you click on this block, you can go to visibility and now we can see or set who sees this block. So I'm going to click on logged in users and then I'm going to click on client. And so in this example, only users that are logged in as a client could see this block. Users that are logged in as admin will not see it automatically. So that's just a little bit of the power that user groups provide to us. And look how easy that was to set up. You built your first app, you set up your user groups, you've connected your database, you're on a roll. Let's keep going to the next lesson and I'll see you there.